Pay pay mo, lumalaki na yung braso mo, ma'am. Mainit ba? No, no, no. Okay, thank you. And I would like to issue an apology on behalf of TV5. There has been serious miscommunication, the miscommunication being that the Comelec rules had initially stated at the outset, at the outset, that there should be no notes or documents to be brought by the candidates during the debate. And so this was a standing rule that was not communicated to me. And uh, about uh, four or five days before the, this debate today, uh, Congressman Toby called me up to ask whether the VP could bring notes. And in earnest, in my earnest desire to make sure that all the candidates would be present, and not thinking that there was such a rule, I did say, I think so, of course. After which I had asked whether there was any rule on that, and I was not told that there was a rule, but now, Chairman Andy Bautista has said that this was a rule from the get-go. Because of this, uh, all the other candidates, particularly Secretary Marr, has uh, expressed his uh, very strong protest against uh, the violation of this rule. The VP, of course, has said that he has already prepared based on my statement that uh, it would be allowed. That was the reason for the ambas. Now, uh, the VP has uh, stepped forward with his notes, and I'm just going to have to turn over the mic to, uh, to uh, Governor John Vicremulia. He will be the one to explain the VP side. May I have a mic here, please? Just to clarify things, we had in the last two weeks asked permission and clarified the matter with Ms. Lucci if notes were allowed. And she did confirm that notes were allowed. So the VP had practiced in the last two weeks under the assumption and under the diligence of the team to clarify with her. And she did say it was allowed. And 30 minutes, uh, 15 minutes before the start of the debate, we had been informed that it is not allowed. So that leaves us in a pickle here on what to do. Um, as much as everybody wants a debate to pursue, we feel that it is prejudicial against the Vice President for having been informed of what he can do and at the last minute said that he cannot do the same. So I hope you understand it's not meant against anyone in particular, but it is only meant at the interest of fairness that we accept that. Thank you. With all humility and with all due respect, I will now have to ask for an apology from all of the candidates. But at this point, we're just going to have to move on with the debates. But I will have to ask for uh, the permission of the three other candidates if they will allow the VP to carry his notes uh, through the debate. <laughs> Secretary Mar. Okay. Uh, Senator Poe. Yes, go ahead, sir. I think uh, let let me let me speak. No? Let me speak. May, may we hear the secretary, please? The we are here as your guests. Inibita po ninyo kami rito. Sinabihan niyo kami, eto ang mga patakaran. Itong mga patakaran na ito ay sinangayunan. Hindi lang na sinangayunan, ito ay nagmula sa Comelec mismo. Nagmula ito sa Cagayan de Oro one month ago. 
Tatlo, apat na meeting ang uh, naganap sa pagitan ng lahat ng mga representatives ng mga kandidato. At no time, in fact, not only at no time was it said na magbabago ang rules, inulit doon na no notes ang pag-uusap. I, I think that the COMELEC will confirm that. No? Is that can we get a definitive statement from uh, Chairman Bautista? What are the rules? This is being held under the auspices of the COMELEC. Um, alam mo, hindi ito yung kodigo o hindi. Ang issue dito, are we a rules-based society or not? May pataka ng ba tayo o hindi? Ayun lang yun eh. Di ba? Excuse, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I, I have the mic, sir. Excuse okay. me. Kaya nga, para sa akin, sundin lang natin kung ano ang patakaran ng komele ng proseso nitong mga debate na ito. That's my two cents worth. Salamat po, Secretary Mar. Senator Pome, we hear it from you. Uh, I was oh. about to say, Luchi. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go Sige, Marami. No, no, go ahead. Ladies, ako? Sir, go ahead because he spoke about you. I think he can reply. Yes, ah, okay. about the reaction to the notes. Alam mo, firstly, yung auspices, it is as if ito is controlled only by COVLEC. Hindi ho ito eh. This is a joint venture. Ah, kaya ho ito, eh, makakadesisyon ho pareho. Hindi ho ang COVLEC lang ang magbabando. At gusto ko lang malaman, Ano ba ho ang diferensya? Sila ho naghanda ha, ng walang notes. Eh ako, dahil sa hindi naniniwala naman kami na pwede. Biernis pa ho ako nandito. May dala ho ako mga dokumento na gusto ko ipakita. Magiging mas maganda ang pagpapaliwanag ko kung meron akong dokumento. Ano ba ho ang diferensya? Ha? Ito ho. Ito ho ang... Ito ho ang... Uh, Ito, yan ang sinasabi ko eh. Am I supposed to be kayo, eh hindi ho kayo magpapakita ng partiality. <laughs> Kaya nga ho, pinakiusap nga ho namin na yun ho ang palakpakan at ano. Pero patapa, patapusin nyo lang ako. Ano ba ang diferensya? Na ipagpatuloy natin to. Sila naghanda ng walang notes. Ako naghanda ng may notes. Pwede naman ho tayo magtuloy. Ang importante lamang ho nito, sumunod kami dun sa time requirement. Kailangan magpisinta ka in two minutes. Kailangan sumagot ka in one, uh, one minute and 30 seconds. Yun lang naman ho ang issue dito. Bakit ba ho bawal ang notes? Eh, hindi naman ho bawal in the first place. Senator po, you were going to say something. Uh, Secretary, may I just... Pwede okay. pong sumagot, yeah. no? Unang-una po, uh, Mayor Duterte? in the first yeah. place, bawal ang notes. Yun ang patakaran ng COMELEC. Pangalawa, ang ating halalan ay hindi under the auspices ng TVP5 with due respect to TV5. It is under the auspices of the COMELEC. Ginaganap lahat ito under the auspices of the COMELEC. Kaya ang COMELEC po ang siyang sumusubaybay at siyang dapat na umiral dito yung rules nila. Kasi kung hindi, kanya-kanyang rules na lang ito eh. Yan ang isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit hindi tayo umuusad bilang isang bansa. Kanya-kanyang rules, kanya-kanyang interpretasyon. Mahalaga rito, nasundin natin ang rules. Ngayon po, ginong Vice President, sabi po ninyo may mga dokumento kayong gustong ipakita. Eh kung alam ko naman pala na pwede ako magpakita ng dokumento rito, eh di dinala ko sana yung COA report. <laughs> eh, na. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Natatakot ka natang ipakita ko yung dokumento Hindi, na wala, ikaw may si Pitakol tinuturo ka rin. Wala akong ah, takot. Meron din ko ang report sa kahit anong dokumento. <laughs> we, we, we just really need to decide already because we need to go on air. Uh, we, we, we need to have moral courage here. What are the rules, Luchi? You But know, ano na moral courage dito? Come on. Let me just okay, uh, say something okay. also, yes, Luchi. Please. Thank you. You know, with your respect, Mr. Vice President, you'd be adducing before the crowd documents. I understand that. The problem is, uh, it is your document. And if you confront us with the document, we're at a loss whether it's authentic or not. <laughs> Yan ang ano ko ka. I'm just, I'm not, I am being not a lawyer. Okay. Go ahead, please, Senator Poe. For one, Ms. Lucci. Ang document ko, dokumento ko ito ng COA, ng AMLA, ha? Mga dokumento ito na
public document na in that sense. Ako, uh, I believe you. No, no doubt about it. But it's a matter of principle because you're the one who was the notes. The three of us has none. Pero ako, you want to go, go. Senator Poe, po, yes. alam niyo, tama yung sinasabi ni Mayor Duterte at ni Secretary Mar, ito yung ating rules para dito. Pero kaya tayo may debate para makilala tayong mga kandidato. Ang kinikilos ni Vice President ay magpapakilala sa kanyang uri ng pagkilala ng isang debate. So ganito rin siguro ang pagkilala rin niya ng ibang mga pagkakataong pamumuno sa ating bansa. Ang importante, tayo ay tayo kung sino man ay tumaligsa sa anumang naging kasunduan natin. Payagan natin siya sapagkat kailangan malaman ng ating mga kababayan ang kanyang mga posisyon. Basta tayo, ako para sa akin, basta kami, ginawa namin ang nararapat Bigyan siya ng pagkakataon na ma-explika at ang taong bayan na ang huhusga. Mr. Chairman, I think it's incumbent upon you to state your position. I think we need to go on Um, the rules are clear. Uh, from the beginning, uh, the rule was you can have notes if you are at backstage. You can even consult with your advisors during breaks. But you cannot bring notes to the podium. Those rules were clear in the first debate. Those are the rules for all subsequent debates. However, I think it is also clear that when the camp of the Vice President asked TV5 whether or not they could bring notes, TV5 made the wrong, uh, I'd say, advice that they could. And that is where we are right now. So we were hoping... Mr. Chairman, I'm just confused. Because TV5 also transacted with us, I mean, met with us a few times and never... At any point, did they say that notes were allowed? So I don't understand why the vice president may have had a different information compared to all of us. Oh, no, 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 no. Excuse me, excuse oh, me, madam. Excuse Paul me, madam senator. Ah. Excuse me, lang. Ah. Hindi ho tuto yun. Hindi lang naman ikaw, madam senator, nagdano. Kami nagtanong eh, kausap eh. Tatulay nga. Hindi kaya nga, Mr. Excuse vice president. Ako lang sa gitna. Babae ka, pero patatbosi mo lang ako. Ah. Huminga ako ng tao at sa amin si Luchi is eh, sorry, sorry, kasalanan po lahat. Oh, di ba ibig sabihin nun? Sinabihan kami na pwede. Na huwag mo sasabihin na hindi kami si pag-ipag-usap kay Luchi. Na tama po yung alam nyo. Na dispensa sa amin. Habi ko nga, ang maliwanag po is that in preparation for the second debate, we had two meetings. And again, it was clear to Comelec as well as to the KBP that the rule of no notes was supposed to be observed for this second debate and also for subsequent debates. <laughs> However, it is also true that the camp of the Vice President made a call to TV5, specifically to Ms. Lucy Cruz, and she gave the wrong information. That's basically where yeah. we are. Yeah, no, Nobody's fault. Yes. So, so who decides now? Mr. Mayor, just to clarify, um, all this was based on a series of emails that each candidate is sent at the end of every meeting. And we had asked for it to be transmitted twice. And we had asked after each transmission, after, one of, after the second transmission of the emails, with the rules, everything. And we asked Channel 5 if it were allowed. And Ms. Lucci's exact words were, of course it is allowed. And that's where the pickle is. As I said, I think Ms. Lucci has already apologized to the Vice President and to the camp, but can we go on now with the debate? Can we go on? I'll, I'll be presenting my documents. <laughs> can, can we have uh, a happy compromise here? Uh, sir, wag mo na lang gamitin yan. Direction na tayo. Okay lang. I mean, if you uh, uh, need my memory, then you can have a press con after this and show the documents that were uh, presented here. Para fair na, matuloy na lang. Uh, let's save the situation because... Alam mo, uh, naghanda ako dito na may ibabasahin ako. Bahit ako hindi pwede magbasa. Well, I, I can understand that because it is not your fault. 
So nagdala ka dito, kami naman nag-o-object, but I want to go on with this uh, program. And uh, I said a happy compromise would be for you not to use it. Pero, Pero na lang yan, sir. Sorry. Ako, ako ito is a happy compromise. Kayo, gusto ninyo magpatuloy ng walang binabasa. Ako, gusto ko magpatuloy nang may papasahin. Pero pare-pareho naman tayo yung maharap dito. Ano ba ang diferensya? Di ba compromise yun? No, there's a misunderstanding here because uh, I think uh, everybody has explained and from that we can deduce that it's nobody's fault. So, kung ano, di... Alam nyo sa isang debate, hindi lang naman yung mga alam natin plataforma ang pinapanood at pinapakinggan ng ating mga kababayan. Pati ang character ng isang leader ay tinitignan rin. The problema kasi nito is we do not have the procedure or a modality where we can confront the authenticity of the report. I can only submit any, any document there and make it appear that it is true. Yan ang mahirap. And we cannot question the document. Kasi hindi man namin alam na there exists a document sa kuwa itself. Pero ako, ayun, as a matter of principle. Pero si Vice President uh, Binay ay naging mayor ng Makati ng napakahabang panahon. Naging Vice President. Sigurado naman ako, hindi siya kulang sa datos at kaalaman. At kaya na rin niya naman siguro to na hindi binabasa yon. There is an aberration here. I'm sure. If you allow the documents to be presented, there's gonna be an aberration in the whole procedure. Excuse me. Ms. Lucci, we will finish this at 8 p.m. It's up to you when you want to start. If you want to uh, take away from the commercials, Mag-uumpisa na po tayo sa ating programa. Tayo po ngayon ay magbo-broadcast na. Kung maaari lang pong manatiling nakaupo ang live audience. Salamat po.